put, first thing that you have to do is distribute your property. You get minus 2x minus 2 equals 3x minus 4. Now you want to get all your x's together. And how would I do that? How to get out, hey, what? Good. Add 2x to those signs. Plus 2x. Want to do that? You have negative 2 equals 5x minus 4. Then I want to get all my numbers together. How do I do that? Add 4, not 2. Add 4, because if I added 2, then I'd be left with 0 over here and 2 things over here, right? So I'm trying to get everything onto this side. So now I have 5x equals 2. And then I got to divide by 5, and I get x equals 2 over 5. And you can just leave it just like that. That's fine. Or you can change it to 0.4 if you like. But, but either way, then who got that? Oh, that's pretty good. You guys are pretty good. All right. So the next one, um, this. This one's pretty easy, and you're going to have one like this on your test, but people rarely know. They rarely do the right thing with this, okay? So, or some people do the right thing, but some people do the wrong thing. Who knows what to do first with this one? Okay, go ahead. Go out. Yes, because because this says divide. You need to get rid of this 3 down here, and the opposite of dividing is multiplying. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3, and that side by 3. And the reason I did that is because that makes that go away. Yeah. So I have 2 minus y equals 5 times 3, which is 15. Then I want to get this 2 over to there. And I can do that by subtracting it, minus 2 minus 2. And I get minus y equals 13. Now, what does that mean, Ian? Well, you don't want y to be negative, Good, okay. So even though you don't see a negative 1 in front of here, it's kind of understood that there's that's where that negative sign comes from. So it's like this. And I can either multiply by negative 1 or divide by negative 1, and it will make that negative 1 disappear. Okay, negative 1 divided by negative 1, and I get y, because that goes away, equals 13 divided by negative 1. What's 13 divided by negative 1? Negative 13. Who got negative 13 for that answer? Ah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. Um, next one. This is like your homework from last night was, and I think we did this one in class, didn't we? Yes. No. Oh, you want me to answer Paige's question? Pause. There it is. We just finished doing this problem. Sorry, studio audience, I forgot to unpause, but you can see what I did there. Okay. I know all you hundreds of people are going to watch me on YouTube. Yeah. They're going to be disappointed. Really? Yeah. Just click the viral. Okay. Uh, I'll let you go viral after you. Anyway, you're going to go viral, definitely. Okay. So, um, the next problem, which could very well go viral, is this one right here. And you will have one like this on your test, probably. Just one, though. Just one. And so, this is one of those ugly rate times that I mean with this is from. Okay? So, I'm just going to take you through it. This guy went 55 for T. This guy left half an hour before car B, right? So if he goes T, how much does he go? T plus, not plus one, plus 0.5 hours because it's half an hour, okay? So he went half an hour. So now you know that 50 times T plus 0.5 equals 55T. And the reason I know that's equal is because it says they went on a straight line the same direction. 
So one guy picks up and he leads, and then in a few minutes this guy leads and they catch up and they've both gone the same distance. That's why this is his distance right here, 50 times t plus 0.5, and this is his distance, and those two things have to be equal. Not right now, they got to the positive. Okay. So I multiply this out, I end up with this. I subtract 50t from both sides, okay? And I get that 5t equals 25. So I get t equals 5. Who got t equals 5? Yay, very good. Yes. 